this is a part one. In the second part, we're going to be testing out with the Xbox and comparing a few things and so on with the PC. Today, we are seeing if the 1660 Super is worth it in 2024. The PC has a Ryzen 3700X, 32GB of DDR4 memory with 3200MHz. The games will be stored on an SSD. And of course, the graphics card. This is the list of games we're going to be using. We're going to be starting off with a bit of Fortnite. Then we're going to do the finals and eventually then Microsoft's game, Halo Infinite. A game where I gotta be honest, I am fucking shit at. So, is it worth it in 2024? Possibly. Let's have a look then. I've just pressed the auto set here. And as you can see, this is what I've recommended we do. So let's go to restored wheels. Let's just go to this building actually, right here. You can hear the PC ramping up. Like it's already getting quite loud. I literally can't hear a single thing. Oh, well, fuck you, you fucking... Alright, here we go. Hello. Goodbye. That motherfucker didn't want to play games, he wasn't fucking running out. But I can see now, I'm inside this building here, I'm getting about over 100 epic. PS, 105? I mean, that's pretty cool. Oh, what's this other chest? Is it underneath me? No. Where is it then? Fuck off! Fuck you, c So, we're gonna put the graphics on low. Let's see. Alright. I can already see uh, there's like a 40%. Well, 40 increase. Now this time, let's go to the Glacier. See that one's uh, more thriving. I love in the snow, there are just ha Halloween pumpkins everywhere. I find that quite funny. You've got to be shitting me. 66. Where the fuck is he gone? Well, this is cool. All right, I'm digging this. Let's go. How the fuck has he not seen me? That's where you are. Alright, get low. He ran away. So, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get rid of fucking this, because I remember something before. In one video, I remember someone saying about like, um, if I need to get rid of, like, this. So I'm gonna figure out how. Yeah, it seems like no one gives a shit. I'm just looking through here. And they're not really saying much. They are saying something about Tau. So I'm gonna just try that. But that's the best thing I could really come up with. And also, now the sound works now for no fucking reason. That is incredible. So I'm still in like high or basically like the max things to go in this and here I'm getting 49 frames just in this uh, loading par of the game. Alright, let's go. 
Where the fuck am I going? Oh fuck. Hi. We're just above the 60s. I can do see sometimes that we're in the 70s, so that's quite good. Yeah, 75 there. What the fuck? Why did I do that? That's bullshit. What the fuck happened there? Sixty-one for uh, in this on a uh, medium. Let's see, eighty-three in the eighties. I mean, for the parts we have, it's pretty cool. But I mean, everything else. Right, for a shooter game, these frame rates are definitely respectable, and for a sixteen sixty super, for a quite an intense game in modern day, I mean, this isn't bad. All right. Everything's all low. Alright, here we go, here we go. The fuck that his character is so goddamn small. Let's see, we're spawning now, we're getting about 105. 106, we're slow climbing, I think. Um, the fans are already kind of ramping up, the CPU's on 80, the GPU's on 76 degrees. We're in the fucking main menu. Um, how brilliant. And we get 100, I say average mainly, or like 110, just on average when it's just like, like this. We, I'm fucking flying. All right, let's try this now, medium. Oh my fucking god, just let me rest in peace and kill someone. Fucking hell, you fucking dickheads. Yeah, fuck. I thought it would start shooting when I hold down the button, but no, it didn't. Oh, great. 
Well, that was shit. Let's check this other high. Sixty. Ooh, okay. Brittle. I'm normally seeing around like what? Oh wow, okay, thanks. But normally I am seeing around about near 65s. Just like an average of that, perhaps. I have shot that bitch like about 12 times, nothing. Got blasted a couple times, instant death. What am I doing wrong? Alright, this goes way over than the VRAM usage. Oh, fun fact actually, well not fun fact, but I really like that fucking feature. I really do. I just turned around and got absolutely blazed. Let's see, 50, 49, 60. Yeah, it's more like the 50s this time, like 52 frames. Which I mean, it's passable. Shot from the back. What the fuck? Ah, uh, fuck's sake. No bad, help me. Holy shit. That was insanely quick. The frames have definitely dropped. I can barely see the fucking screen. A 1660 Super is actually a hundred quid on average where you can find on eBay. I don't, I barely, barely think they sell these cards now. So, I think the 1660 was worth it in 2024. However, there is a few things I need to say. In the UK, at least, right, I had tested a graphics card, the 1070, and I played a couple of games here. I did a video on this. Guess what? That 1070 was about £85, and you can find it on average around about that price, well, the 1070 is slightly faster than the 1660 Super, and slightly cheaper, and has two more extra gigabytes of VRAM. So what do you think I'm going to tell you? Well, I'm going to tell you to buy the 1070. Well, yes, there is more newer technologies on the 6060 Super. It is very clear that the 1070 is slightly better, and just overall, probably a better pick for your buck pound I guess over here. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Ta-da now. Ta-da.